Alright everybody, today we will be doing an inbox review of Micromere's one 144th scale USS Monitor. This kit is relatively new, it just came out this year. I've never heard of this company, I've never seen anything from them. So this will be a first time build from them. I have seen a few other kits that they have that might be interesting, but I'll have to see how this kit goes together first before I start buying a bunch of their products. So without any further stalling, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside this box. So the first thing we have are two portions that make up the main deck. These are very nicely detailed, lots of rivets and panel lines. You also have some of the deck portholes to let light in. Now this kit is not for the Battle of Hampton Roads. They had added the sloped armor around the pilot house which was not present on the monitor when it fought the Virginia. So this kit is more directed at monitor's final voyage. Much like the deck, the hull is in two halves. And it's also very nicely detailed. This here is where the anchor is going to go. This is where your propeller and rudder will go. Next rack is some photo etch, which these appear to be mainly for the lifeboats. Though there might be a few other small details here and there, such as the ladder for the turret. Speaking of the turret, that is what we have on the next rack. This here will go on the stern of the ship and the propeller will fit up in there. This is the sloped armor for the pilot house. The turret's floor, turret's roof, turret roof supports. And here is two halves to the front of the turret. These are where your gun ports are at. And of course the main rudder. Next rack is some more pieces to the turret. There are two of these racks included in the kit. We have the propeller blades, a lifeboat, funnel, one of the 11 inch Dahlgrens. They are in two halves. Like I said, you get two of those. Now we get the sides of the raft, which range from anywhere from 1 to 3 inches of iron plating. Once again, it's nicely detailed. We also have the anchor. A stand to place the kit on when it's complete. And an instruction sheet, which has some history that I've not read yet. Now the instruction sheet's a bit weird, it's individual pieces of paper. So they have you start off with a lot of the external accessories, I probably will not build it in this order. I'll probably start with the hull and turret, and then move around. Now the turret does have full interiors, so you can you'll probably want to paint that up properly. There's a small paint guide. Now the monitor was painted black and red. They kind of have the separation between the black and red incorrect. The red should be up higher, but overall they have it correct. Now, something else I've noticed is that they, if you do it correctly, the turret should be able to rotate when the product is complete.
Well, that is all we have to discuss on this kit for today. So, if you have enjoyed this video, why not subscribe and leave a comment down below. And have a wonderful day.